A mysterious Samsung device has surfaced in a Geekbench machine learning benchmark, causing a buzz in the tech world. Rumors suggest it could be upcoming Galaxy S23 FE, but upon closer examination, it appears to be an inaccurate assessment. It's important to note that Geekbench entries can be manipulated, leading to misleading information. In this video, we will analyze the benchmark entry, SMS 919 o and explore possible explanations for its existence. The benchmark entry's model number, SMS 919 o does not align with the known model number for the Galaxy S23 FE. This discrepancy casts doubt on the device being the Galaxy S23 FE. It is unlikely that Samsung would intentionally hide the identity of their flagship device. The benchmark entry suggests that the device features a 9-core chip with an Eclipse 930 GPU, an upgrade from the Exynos 2200 SoC Eclipse 920. However, this information could be fabricated to deceive Geekbench and misrepresent the device's capabilities. The benchmark entry indicates that the device is running an outdated firmware version from September 2022. This is unusual for an upcoming device, especially one with a new chipset. It further raises suspicions about the authenticity of the benchmark entry. The benchmark score of 456 points for machine learning tasks is significantly lower than the expected score for the Galaxy S23, which is around 600 points. This suggests that the device's chipset may not be optimized for ALA tasks or that the benchmark entry is intentionally falsified. Considering the evidence, there are two plausible explanations for the benchmark entry. It could be a completely fabricated entry designed to deceive Geekbench. Alternatively, it might be a hardware test bench for the canceled Exynos 2300's SOC, which a Samsung engineer decided to test using Geekbench. While there is uncertainty surrounding the SMS 919 o benchmark entry, it is highly likely that it is fake and does not represent the Galaxy S23 FE or the Exynos 2300 chipset. Samsung's cancellation of the Exynos 2300 remains unchanged. Nevertheless, it serves as a reminder of the need for caution when interpreting benchmark results. What do you think about today's video? I'll love to know your thoughts in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.